Hi, my name is Chris Gilliard, and I've been asked to give some of my thoughts on the intersections of privacy, politics, and online learning. So lately, I've been really taken with the work of Shoshana Zuboff, so I wanted to talk about some of the laws that she's written in regards to information technology. Law number one, everything that can be automated will be automated. Law number two, Everything that can be informated will be informated. Law number three. Every digital application that can be used for surveillance and control will be used for surveillance and control. Now, I'm a li little reluctant to talk about laws when we talk about technology because I don't think that any given tech or use of it is inevitable. However, I do think those laws are useful when framing what Zuboff calls surveillance capitalism, which is capitalism that monetizes data through surveillance. So when I think about privacy, politics, openness, and online learning, what I wonder is to what extent uh, we are enabling surveillance capitalism, or alternately, what might we do to make sure that as we think about uh, these issues, we're, we're, we're thinking about how we can avoid enabling surveillance capitalism. Um, or even another way to think about it is uh, to what degree might open mean the ability to be free from being surveilled. And the reason I pose those questions is it could be argued, and I would in fact argue that surveillance capitalism is the dominant logic of the web at this moment. Um, so as professors, instructors, instructional technologists, I think that uh, our responsibility to our students necessitates that we consider these issues and that we make sure that in our uh, zeal for technology um, that we always consider questions of privacy, uh, agency, um, and access for that matter. And think about what um, what definitions of open might mean in terms of um, freedom. Thank you.